Hello and welcome everybody to more Santarize. Today is more of a chilled out kind of vibe. Uh, we're going to be taking on some of these advanced quests. Um, I'm not sure if we'll do all of them, but we'll see how we're feeling as we're going through them. Um, the first one that I want to actually do is this one with Ghost Hygrix and Mizu. Um, and then we'll probably do the Magnum Allo and Basil one after. And of course these seem to be a lot higher level. This one is like two Elder Dragons, this one is Valstrax and Rachna. Um, but let's go for this one first. Uh, three monsters that are quite tough, but I think we'll be fine here. Uh, Fire Charge Blade, I'm not really sure if we're going to switch halfway through, but mm, it'll be fine. Uh, Moneymaker should be nice, but I think we're doing okay there. So let's go for Slugger, Medic. Um... Uh, let's go for Moneymaker as well. I think that might help us in the long run, especially since, you know, things are getting expensive at this point, and I'm not sure how much more expensive they're gonna be moving forward once we unlock the next rank and things like that. So yeah, the last time was Magnum Allo, and that was awesome. Um, I, I was really afraid of Magnum Allo because, you know, he's been a constant threat throughout this entire playthrough. And even still, the, the, just the fact that he can stand up um, on the level of, I guess, the Apex Emergency Quest is kind of insane. They really designed a, <laughs> a crazy monster there. But yeah. I think this will be awesome to just chill out a few quests because it's it's really cool to to go out and um, you know have a, a special monster that we're taking on for each episode which we have been doing for a while with the um, apexes in the emergencies and we've gotten through all of them besides one well two including apex azars in terms of emergencies but It's been a while since we've actually just attacked regular monsters. We normally just ignore them these days. Either way, um, yeah, as I was saying, it's been awesome just going and um, taking on these uh, emergencies, but it is nice to just chill out sometimes. Especially with how difficult a lot of it was. Is this lantern bug up here? Yes, it is. Let's get this ready. Goss is over there. Hmm, got one. That's fine. Snow beetle must, might be nice. Oh, fire beetle as well. I mean, might as well. I don't think it'll take too long to uh, take each one of these down. I'm not really sure how the advanced quests work um, in terms of their health. Because I know for, for some of them, um, in the past, multiple monsters meant that they have a low amount of health. Not sure if it's the same here. Hi. Let's get that, and these guys are coming around. Nice. Here we go. Hmm. Off to a good, skip that good start, I see. Damn. 
Mizu is here already. I was really brain dead after that Apex and Ogre fight. It took a lot out of me and we still weren't able to get it down. Come on. Really? It's weird how some of these monsters seem to have um, more attacks with different directions and uh, as they be attacked. And some of them are just one standard attack throughout. Just kind of switch arms and you know basic stuff like that. <laughs> Misa is kind of quick but very low damage in comparison to a lot of the other monsters. Gonna reach me? No, it's not. Ow. Not supposed to go that way. Okay, I'm getting here. Let's go. Oh, another one. <laughs> Just a weird three-way battle. Okay. I'll be back for you. What a start already. That's one thing about these uh, these ones where, we, where you have to hunt three monsters. For some reason it just seems like they are more inclined to all come after after you at the same time. Just in case he decides to do something drastic. Ow. Just two. Eh, that's okay. Kinda knew that would happen. <laughs> mm. 
haven't fought him in a while. I was gonna shoot his... oh no, it's his stab attack. Either way. Damn. Oh, he's healing me again. He's really on the ball today. You're gonna leave, right? Oh. Goss is always so intense. Second one. Shit. <laughs> How did that not hit? <laughs> I got so lucky there. Ah, yeah, he's gonna be gone. And he's low. So yeah, really low health compared to uh, if you had to fight him normally. But we did have both Mr. Tsuna and Tigrex uh, messing him up really bad. I'm not gonna make it, so I might as well. Oh shit, he's gonna be spinning around. Are you going to come after me? Hmm, the range of that. There goes the blue hair.
One down. I really love the fight that they created with the uh, Gosarag because of how uh, it just feels like a one on one battle, I've mentioned before. And of course, the bodies are here to help, but I mean, like, it feels like a boss fight, if that makes sense. A lot of the other monsters feel like um, feel like you're hunting a monster. Here, it feels like you're dueling against somebody. Let's go over here. Tigrex. The last time I fought him, he. Um, he was really difficult. I believe that was the event quest. So it was expected. And it was a big one. I think it was the largest size that we have encountered. And that could have something to do with it. Because a lot of his attacks were, were very wide. <laughs> I do think we need to break his head. Shit. In order to get the more that we need for the charge blade. So maybe we'll try to do that, if we can even get to his head. Damn. There we go, broken already. I thought it was going to spin. Oh, he's leaving. He doesn't want anything to do with me. He looks like an apex with the red. That's really angry. I'm kind of scared of him when he does that. <laughs> 
It's his weird ledges again. <laughs> Wow. Don't kill me, please. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. It was just depending on, on what attack he, he decided to choose it. Because I know... Um, in that situation, I know myself. Some of the attacks I would have been able to get away from. That one and the double um, bite would have been difficult for me. Let's go back. So if the snow beetle slows them down, the thunder beetle makes them more susceptible to stun. What would the fire, fire beetle do? Is there a way to check? I'm sure there is. Oh no, that's just a different page. I'm sure maybe we can check in our notes or something. He's angry, but he's just chilling. just facing the wrong way. His roar is so insane. I tried to block, but... Uh... <laughs> He's just <laughs> jumping around. What an awkward fight. Like both me and him are being awkward the entire time. Probably just really uncomfortable.
weird. That should have been a guard point. Okay, that was uh, a weirdly timed guard point. It's weird how sometimes this fight goes really well and sometimes not. That's a disappointing discharge. I thought he was going to do something else. really put up a fight there though. Hopefully I get them all, but I'm guessing that it's a very rare, very rare item to get. Um, just realized as well that I need to read the Valstrax description. A mutant Valstrax fiercely, fearsomely dubbed the Crimson Glow, this elder dragon typically secludes itself in the upper atmosphere, but it has been driven mad by its own rampant energy, causing it to lash out at anything in its sight. Once it sights its prey, it swoops down, trampling them beneath its shifting wing blades. Several have been sighted all over, so prepare to encounter one at any time. Secludes itself in the upper atmosphere. That makes sense for the for the way that it uh, like moves around and stuff. So it can just show up anywhere. All five maps. It's really cool. Oh, and it's equally equally weak to all of these elements. Nice, so you can use anything against it except dragon itself. Um, yeah, because I don't see the maw, so I'm guessing it's this, right? So probably broken part rewards from the broken head. That would be my best guess. This one respawning brew here has been <laughs> has been the highlight of everything. Yeah, that's enough. I don't want to use a second 
waste a second use of the blue light. I've killed your apex, but it seems you are still a nuisance. You need to remember that once I counter, I can always go straight into my spinning slash. Mm, see what I mean? It's so much harder to dodge his one than, uh, than the Apex one. The strong, strong thing. Damn, that was close. I'm kind of afraid of him. Very nice. So he's going down there. I, I can't remember, like, does he normally just chill out down there? Because I thought that uh, he usually stays up here. But I guess he goes wherever there's water, right? Man loves his water. I thought it was gonna... Nope! <laughs> the shotgun burst. I actually missed the shotgun burst of it. Because the Apex doesn't have it.
too far away. Damn, <laughs> this poor guy. I was already in the attack. <laughs> Should have expected it though, getting like really confident because But damn we really we just dropped him down like three times in a row. My man was not ready for that. Hit me, but not as bad. We need to stop sliding around. Dude is really angry. Understandable. Just needed to be more. Um, more deliberate with my rolls there at that point because I do roll a lot but with the water blight I needed to See what I mean about this guy? <laughs> He also put up such a 
such an incredible fight there at the end. I would say he, he's a lot quicker than, than the Apex. And uh, with the whole bubble thing going on, like the bubble blight where he slides around and stuff, makes it a little bit more erratic and a little bit more chaotic. Um, but of course the, the Apex has his own thing going on. And I guess they couldn't have given the Apex both um, Bubble Blight and Hellfire Blight. So I guess they went with the Hellfire. That was really fun. It's always good to just return to, to these monsters. Especially after we hit certain breakpoints, um, like hitting Magnum Allo and then going back to monsters before him and then hitting, you know, Ibushi or, you know, both the Thunder Serpent and Ibushi. Beast gem. Oh, I got them all. Nice. Which means maybe I'll be able to make the Tigress Charge Blade now. Not really sure. We'll have a look. Looks like maybe. Because it says Tigrex Blade and Tigrex Divide 2. I'm not sure. It's been a while since uh, since I added them to the wish list, so I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, we can. Two twenty with really good sharpness. I mean, screw it. Let's make it. How much will it cost? Over a hundred thousand. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Tigrex tree. There we go. Damn it, it's big. <laughs> Some of these weapons are, are insanely big. Um, it's a level one, so I guess we could put grinder in. Because there's nothing else really in level one that I, I'm really keen on. So let's go and try it out. Which one shall we do? Yeah, with the Apex Zenoga, I'm not going to do the hub quest either. Um, I'll just wait until uh, a moment where I can, you know, and um, I have a bit of mental clarity and then we can take it on. Because there's always been these kind of roadblocks um, when it comes to certain monsters or, you know, we have to just take a, a step back and like think about what we're doing. And I think that's going to be one where we have to do that. Uh, so instead of doing the hub quest, I'd rather wait until I'm ready for that emergency quest. And then, um, because I would like that emergency to be the first time I take him down. Uh, it's been that way for a lot of them, except for, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I saw the exclamation mark. Um, it's been that way for a lot of them, except for these three. Um, Apex Rathalos and Diablos we, we did in the event um, emergency ones for the first time. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll do the same with uh, Sinoga. Are we ready for this though? I'm a bit afraid of these two. Let's 
screw it, let's do it. Because I do need um, Chiasra first stuff. Fire Dragon Scale, and I think to upgrade it, I need something as well. Let me just double check that. Yeah, I need the gem. So these two are easy to get. I mean, through fighting him, we'll be able to make that. Uh, the gem will be based on our luck. Make sure we have all of that. Let's go for that. Might get lucky with the gem. Slug is good. I think for this one I'm gonna have to use uh, the demon dragon and stuff like that. Looking at the days, um, and just just off the top of my head, with all of the things that we have left to do, which is um, these event, these advanced quests, and I believe there's one advanced quest that unlocks after. Um, after that is Bar Born of Paradise, Crimson Calamity, and then it's Sunbreak. So we literally have like, I don't know, five, five or six of these left, which I didn't expect us to to get here so quick. It just happened. Oh, Valstrak is there. He's so cool. <laughs> I love him. I hope we get to Wovon ride him. If nothing else but to experience him and his glory. What I really like about Valstrak as well is that they didn't just save like the largest monster for last. He's really, um, he's really lean Hi. and quick, as opposed to some others. Yeah, you, let's let's just use this. Because Kushala is so scary. Oh, <laughs> it's Valstrax. I was wondering, like, what the hell happened? Because I didn't take a lot of damage. I took a very minimal amount of damage. So awesome.
should have known that was coming. Ah. <laughs> the wall running. As long as we get to Woven Riot Valstrax, I'm happy. Yeah, this is what I wanted. I knew there was a bush around here somewhere. I can't remember if you can use traps against the Elder Dragons. I believe you can, but you can't capture them. It's just the apexes that doesn't work against. Damn it. Nope. Not happening. Not today. I didn't expect the second one because earlier it seemed like he was enraged and he only did one, so kind of threw me off. But that's fine. I mean, we have only fought this guy twice before. Might as well get the last one. Forgot to get the armor drug and the demon, and the armor skin and the demon drug, but eh, I think we'll be fine. Or maybe we won't, and he's just gonna rip us to shreds once again. It's the fact that that one is wide that throws me off as well. Oh, he's leaving. Hi. Just to get that. Got it. I remember how this guy <clears throat> beat the shit out of me during his uh, event quest. Guy is a menace. Him and the Ostra both. Damn. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get over that. Uh, so we can't poison him. I forgot if he does get poisoned. Thank <laughs> you. 
his ultimate. Damn. I forgot how cool all of this shit is. There's a pillar in the way, my guy. <laughs> Moves me out of the way and then... Oh, another one. I have so many. <laughs> Let me just try one. I think the best thing to do would just... To be would be to just try them. Try them out. What is my affinity at right now? Minus fifteen. Shit. I thought it was gonna go like down. I saw him poison just now. So it will take a little bit more to get him poisoned, but we do have a lot of turrets. I should, I should stop doing that in front of their faces, right? The width. 
Oh shit. No, 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 no. You don't come up here. There's always that one attack. Hmm. I wonder if that's actually unblockable if I missed that. I'm sure I've blocked it before. I'm sure it's not unblockable. I think I just missed it. Damn it. So close. <laughs> Hi. I thought he was going to do that uh, ultimate. You can tell I haven't fought him enough. Damn it. My timing is way off. Oh, he's dead. Smaller size. It's a little baby, Kushala. All right, they get four calves. That's awesome. Nothing that I really need from Kushala. But uh, I think as we've spoken about before, if we are going to introduce some new weapons, it would be good to have extra materials. Still really haven't decided what weapon would be cool. so weird. I want one. Like as a pet. I'm sure the neighbors would go crazy about that though. <laughs> Time to go to the store. All they hear is just fucking jet engines going off. So, Tiastra. Tiosra is easily one of my favorite, like, straight up battles in the game. And uh, he has that entire vibe. You know, of course, he's, he's a lion, so of course, I'm sure it's intentional, but they gave him this vibe of like a king. He really walks around like royalty. I'm sure he's walking around down there like royalty. Yep. Love this monster. Oh 
Oh shit, forgot about that. <laughs> was a multi hit. One of the coolest things about him is is the way that he explodes the blast energy. Ow. Um, he bites. So every time he bites, it explodes. And that is just so cool. No. Oh, it's going away. So setting it up and then and then biting to explode it all is just so awesome. You can just see him being able to decimate an entire village or something. Um, I believe it was him who who it was mentioned. No, it was Camellias that can decimate an entire village. But I'm, I mean, you can you can see it. You can picture it. Like everybody's just in their wooden houses and stuff. Ooh. Ah, it's awake. That damn hop. It hasn't been a problem uh, for a while because we've been using the other switch skill. So we've been in axe mode quite a lot. But I still remember how I hate that hop. Was that Almadron's Raw or was that Tear Stop? Didn't seem like a Tear Stop. Dude, you need to stop. <laughs> you can't do this to me. Let's go. That's such a good attack.
Didn't want to put my weapon away and I think I made the good choice there. Because <laughs> I was going to put it away. But, uh... No! Oh, he's gone again. Cool. So I got the scales. So it's just a gem that's left for the charge blade. Which, I mean, it's always a toss up whether you're going to get it or not. But we can hope. We did get the um, Dango Fortune. I just realized that throughout the quest, we. Actually got up to like full health and stamina. Uh -huh. Probably gonna have to drop something, right? I love fighting this monster so much. Whoa. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, they came out really fast. The damn fish again. <laughs> I swear, they need to get rid of this fish. In the next game, there better not be any of these damn fish. It is like really hard to dodge. Hoping for a guard point. Where did that one come from? Okay, this is just kind of comical now. Why can't I see it properly? I think it's too bright. I know I'm messing up for a lot of it, that's obviously my fault, but some of these um, 
fire set up things, I can't really see. I think the game is too bright. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I remember him being difficult, but not... He was never this bad. Sharpen. We got this though. We definitely got this. Let's get some poison on him so that... We can get some damage over time. Damn, finally this guy goes down. <laughs> Can we maybe put him to sleep? This guy's giving me a lot of trouble. What's interesting though is that uh, his ultimate attack is, seems like it's coming out really fast, like way too fast. There we go. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say that he didn't put up like the. the most intense fight ever. <laughs> I remember him being aggressive, but wow. This seemed to be like on another level. Hopefully we get the gem. I am doubting it, but yeah, we might get lucky. Um, yeah, um, you know those, uh, I think it's because I changed some settings on my uh, display. So the, the settings will be the same, I think, in the video, but my actual display, um, I think that I need to lower the brightness or something, because like this flash, I'm looking over to the left, um, that flash that was in front of us. I'm looking over to the left at OBS, and it looks fine there, but on my display, because I changed the settings, I think a lot of the the whites are blown out now so it was very difficult yes we got the gem so it's re it was really difficult to see some of the setup blast attacks 
Of course, most of the damage that I took and most of the near deaths was obviously a lack of skill, but some of it, I would say about 20% of it, I wasn't able to see. I mean, let's make it. Damn, we, we, we just blew through like almost almost 300,000 in this episode. Forging many valuable weapons and armor. Nice. So we actually got something out of that. This looks really cool. I think we'll go ahead and use it in the next episode. Um, so uh, let me just speak about my thoughts here. When it comes to this list. Alright, we need to activate some optional quests to keep forgetting about that. So in the next one I think we'll take on Dual Calamities and the Fallen Comet. Uh, both of these seem quite difficult. I'm, I'm really excited to fight Valstrax again. That's going to be an awesome fight. Any excuse to see him is a good one. And then after that, if we unlock something after, we'll go ahead and do that quest. Um, but after that it's born of paradise and crimson calamity um you know of course there's still the the apex and ogre emergency uh so we'll have to think about what we're doing there like how we're going to approach and exactly how we're going to actually be able to get that done because i am afraid of it i wonder if the reward money is a good indicator of a lot of this because if so this would be considered on the same level, but Born of Paradise would be considered after. So I'm not really sure. Um, if possible, uh, just this, this is a question, what would be, in terms of difficulty, what would be considered like the final, final quest? Would it be Born of Paradise or Crimson Calamity? Um, because either one, I know, they both like end, end game, but... I'd, I'd like to do like a final one to send off base rise and uh, I'm just really curious to, to know which one I think everybody would like to see as well um, as the final quest before we begin in Sunbreak as the actual finale because I'm thinking it might be Born of Paradise because that's like you know the, the main story quest yeah, but we can go either way so let me know and um, we'll just speak a bit more about that uh, the way we're going to approach Apex Zenoga in the next one. But uh, either way, thanks so much for stopping by. Subscribe if you're new. It was awesome hanging out. Awesome just doing these uh, other kind of quests and not just focusing on one monster with each episode. Uh, I think, you know, it was fun while it lasted and it's good to have these in between. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one for more of these advanced quests. Bye for now.